this Zimbabwe guy invented a self-powered TV. A TV that is not powered by by generator, is not powered by batteries, is not powered by any electricity. It is only powered by radio frequencies. How was that possible? And the best part is that this guy did not even go to school. Everything was from here. I told you that Western education came to confuse us. First of all, they, come, they came with the language. The language makes us confuse even the words. One of Zimbabwe's most celebrated technopreneurs, Max Wachikumbuzo, has once again come up with a masterstroke innovation. And this time, it is an embedded wireless power generator that uses radio frequency to power a television set. Chikumbuso demonstrated his latest innovation to a ZBC News crew at his base in Harare, whereby a TV does not need the electricity connection for it to function. Uh, this is our self-powered TV that we have uh, designed. The first in the world to have such kind of a technology where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see right now, I'm powering this television. Uh, so this is the first uh, television in the world that uses self power to say. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. As it is, it is a complete solution. Behind the television, you can see that there is a microsonic energy device, this box. This is the device that is converting radio frequencies into pure energy. As you can see, the power of the cable was supposed to be here. On all traditional televisions, power comes here, but there's no power as you can see. The television is, it is working as it is. So in Lyman, I think this television is a, we can call it a, a self-powered television. It is indeed an exciting innovation that comes in handy for households without electricity and even so a relief to many in the event of power outages. Chikumbuso continues to fly the Zimbabwean flag high in the world of innovation and this latest offering will put the country's map at the forefront of technological transformation. Owen Mandova, ZB Singers, Harare. A, a, an, an, an African man will keep on studying English or French till he reaches 60, 70 years and he doesn't even know all. Tell me, how can, he, how can the person manufacture anything with the language? When you don't, even, you don't even know all the words. But imagine if it's your mother tongue that we use and study all these things. It would have been easy because it's, it become more relatable to, to our surroundings. It become more relatable. Just look at this young guy. Everything against the law of physics. Against physics. Even they believe Africa will rise. If we go back indigenously. If we believe in ourselves. Western education cannot. We have been practicing for over 60, uh, 60 years. And nothing is achievable in Africa. Practicing another man policy. Another man culture. Another man innovations. And stop believing in ourselves. Before you can say, hey, let's go and train Africa, send them abroad and train them. But ourselves indigenously, we don't support people that are indigenously making efforts.